In order to check the patient's own rhythm, the stimulation frequency is usually set to a low value, for example, 40 pulses per minute. Nevertheless, the heart rate may not get through and the pacemaker continues to stimulate. This can be seen here by the flashing yellow arrows and the ECG on the pacer spikes. With the pause function, you can easily check the underlying rhythm of the patient. The PACE 203 measures the P wave and R wave amplitudes. These values can then be used to set the sensitivity on the pacemaker for the atrium and the ventricle. First, you unlock the device. Pressing and holding the pause button pauses stimulation to take heart activity measurements. Instead of yellow, the green arrows for sensing are now flashing. This means that the pacemaker is now measuring the signals from the heart. One must be aware that the patient is not receiving any SM therapy during this time. As soon as the pause button is released, the pacemaker begins to stimulate again. So if you activate the pause button and hold it down after a short time, measured values are shown below in the display. A stands for the atrium. Atrial heart rate in the brackets, the corresponding PP intervals in milliseconds. And at the very bottom is the value for the P wave amplitude in millivolts. The value here is 2.9 millivolts. The same is shown below in the ventricle. The V stands for the ventricle. Ventricular heart rate in the brackets, the corresponding RR interval in milliseconds. And the very bottom, the R wave amplitude in millivolts. The value for the valve is now 7.8 millivolts. In the bottom section, the measured atrioventricular conduction time is displayed in milliseconds. If the pause button is pressed for more than 10 seconds, the device ignores the pause function for safety reasons and automatically reverts to stimulation mode. In order to carry out another measurement, the pause key must be pressed again.